Jesus be the saint of Jesus be the saint of it all. my life, I feel with your glory. Jesus be the center of all. I say, Jesus, you are the center of my life. Jesus, you are the center of my life. Let my life be filled with your glory. Jesus, you are the center of all. I say, Jesus. You are the center of my home. Jesus, be the center of my home. Let my life be filled with your glory. Jesus, be the center of all. Jesus, be the center of my life. Jesus, be the center of my life. Let my life be filled with your glory. Jesus be the center of all. I say, Jesus, you are the center of my home. Jesus be the center of my home. Let my life be filled with your glory. Jesus be the center of all. I say, Jesus, you are the center of my home. I say, Jesus, you are the center of my home. Let my life be filled with your glory. Jesus be the center of all. I say, Jesus. You are the center of my home. I say, Jesus, you are the center of my home. Let my life be filled with your glory. Jesus be the center of all. There is not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. No, let's go heal all our souls. This is this. No, not one. No, not one. I say Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day he is done. There is not a friend like the lowly Jesus. Yes, no one. No, not one. There's not an other is known us. No, not one. No, not one. No night so dark, but his love can share us. No, not one. No, not one. I say Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day he is done. There is not a friend like the lowly Jesus. I say no, not one. No, not one. I say heavenly Lord, your name is beautiful. Your name is wonderful. Your name is mighty, and I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You got the reward in your hand. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Lord, your name is wonderful, your name is powerful. Your name is excellent, and I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You got the reward in your hand. You got the reward in your hand. You got the reward in your hand. You got the reward. In your hand, you got the reward in your hand. My dear little Hebrew, my holy. 
Oh Lord, oh my God, how excellent is your name in all the earth, how excellent is your name. At the mention of your name, every name shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus is the Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name in all the earth, how excellent is your name, Jehovah, you are the most high, Jehovah, you are the most high. Go, Jehovah, you are the most high. You are the most high, go, Jehovah, you are the most high. You are the most high, go. <laughs> ah, the mention of your name. Ah, every knee shall bow. My Jalil Rahim, my Jalil. At the mention of your name, every tongue confess that you are Lord, you are Lord, you are Lord of Lords, that you are King, you are King. You are king of kings, a dimension of your name. Every knee shall bow, a dimension of your name. Every tongue confess my so magnifies the Lord, and my spirit exalts your name, for there could not hold you captive, even in the grave, Jesus you are Lord, even in the grave, Jesus you are Lord, you are Lord. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit exalts His name. For there could not hold Him captive, even in the grave. Jesus, You are Lord, even in the grave. Jesus, You are Lord, You are Lord. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit exalts your name. For there could not hold you captive, even in the grave. Jesus is the Lord, even in the grave. Jesus, you are Lord, you are Lord. Do I worship you, I worship you, Son of God, you are so good, you are so good, my Holy God, I love your name, your dominion is forevermore, I do not Tonight we worship you, we worship you, Son of God. You are so good, you are so good, Almighty God. Hallowed be your name, your dominion is forevermore. I do not. Adonai, we worship you, we worship you, Son of God, you are so good, you are so good, Almighty God, hallowed be your name, your dominion is forevermore. And you touch my life with your hand, my light change. And you touch my life with your hand, my light remain the same no more. 
Jehovah touch my life with your hand, my life. Forever, forever, you touch my own with your hand, my home chain. You touch my own with your hand, my home remain the same no more. Jehovah touch my home with your hand, my home chain. Forever, forever, you touch my life with your hand, my life chain. He touched my life with your hand. My life remained the same no more. Jehovah touched my life with your hand. My life changed. I have a God who will never change. I have a God who will never change. I have a God who will never change. My Jesus never change. He will never change forevermore. Amen. My Jesus never fail me. Amen. My Jesus never fail me. Amen. Jesus never fail me. My Jesus never fail me. He will never fail me forevermore. When I look on my right, I see powers are falling. When I look on my left, I see powers are falling. When I look in my front, I see powers are falling. When I look on my right, I see powers are falling. I have seen, I have seen the downfall of power. Glory be to God. I say glory be to Jesus. I have seen, I have seen the downfall of power. Glory be to God. Amen. Welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Distancing is not a barrier with the Lord. Whether you are coming from east or west, from north or south, come and be blessed. I should come in. Could you share this program? Share this program. Save a soul. He doesn't need a hundred because the good Lord, he understands that to save one soul is a, is a, <laughs> is a mighty job for us. But adventure, if you don't have nobody to save, what about you walking towards your salvation? Me walking towards my salvation. Share, share, share. And let the people be saved by this word of grace. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we we'll thank you. I bless you because above all other God, you are God. And there is none like you. I look through eternity. There is none like you, Father. You are king of kings, you are lord of law. Messiah is the king of kings. Messiah, you are lord of law. Messiah, Messiah, you are king of kings. Hallelujah, oh Messiah, you are lord of law. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh, hallelujah. Jehovah, Jehovah. I said, believe there all. Papa, believe there are. Believe there are. Poor Emmanuel. You are lived there. I say you are lived there. Papa, you live there. Oh, a gentle day. You are lived there. I say you are lifted up, you are lifted up, oh Emmanuel. Father Lord, be in our midst this morning. Miracle working God, do something new in the name of Jesus. Never let powers fail us, Jehovah. Never let our human flesh fail us. 
the Lord that answered by fire. Never fail us in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, people that will serve you with their whole heart, from east, from west, from north to south, bring them in and perfect their stay in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not give authority to men to prevail, Father. Oh Lord, do something new in our lives in the name of Jesus. Something great in their life in the name of Jesus. Oh marvelous God, marvelous King, you are awesome. Do something great. Do something great in my life something awesome in my life something powerful in my life oh lord do something marvelous in my life something awesome in my life something powerful in my life oh lord daddy Come and magnify your power on this prayer right now, on this Facebook right now, wherever people are watching. Magnify your power in their homes and let there be testimony upon testimony. Let the whole world know you are God from beginning to the end. There's no room for argument. You are God all by your, yourself. I want to tell you. Good morning, everybody. Whether you are coming from east or west, north and south, as you join me, whether you're just viewing me, may there be testimony in your life in the name of Jesus. May the grace of God be sufficient for you in the powerful name of Jesus. I worship you and I glorify you because you are more than what people call you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Jesus' excellent name we have prayed. Amen. Good morning, everybody, again. Today we want to look into Hallelujah Jesus Rain Series 116. Series 116. Hallelujah. There is so much that has happened in the past and many are still coming. How can we stand in the days of trouble? It's bound to come. Powers will come and challenge you. Principalities will come and challenge you. And you call yourself sons and daughters of Zion, you need to be tested to, to show yourself approved as the son, true sons and daughters of Zion. If you're a pastor, if you're a prophet, it doesn't matter who you are. It is by the invasion of this privacy from powers, principalities, that is where, when we run to God, we derive our testimony we derive our, our our power we are equipped we're empowered when we go through all these challenges in life are you ready what happened let's go into the book of second chronicles second chronicles come on come on down with me i i i, I greet you all that are being brother lawrence you are welcome in the name of jesus sister chelsea a good disciple of the mighty God, may the Lord do something new in your life, my dear sister. It is well with you. My brother, Brother Lawrence, you are blessed, sir. And may the work of your hand multiply from today in the name of Jesus. We will all be productive spiritually, and he will manifest in all of our endeavors in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I should come to me. I should come with me to the mighty Father in heaven. Join me. Open to the book of Chronicles chapter 18. I'm going to verse 6. I mean 26. And as the Lord has granted me, you can meditate this in your heart. Open wherever you are. Whether you have an app, whichever you are work, you can just listen. Open and read along with me. Give God a few minutes of your life and he will multiply the rest of the day for you with goodness and mercy in Jesus' name. I just said, it doesn't matter who you are. Powers will come testing you out. They want to check you out. Are you truly serving a living God? There is a thing that mercy says, I'm serving a living God. Even the powers, the devil knows. Amen. And who is the devil? He looks like me and you. I'm telling you, that doesn't make you a devil. I said, the devil is a human being. Ah, they're already doomed in life. And they're looking for, uh, you know what they're looking for? Apprentices. They want somebody to join them and work with them so they will have a train, a, a mighty, a mighty kill going into hellfire. They don't want to go alone, but don't join them up. 
hear the word of God this morning. Look at what they did to the prophets of, of, of the world that the Lord ordained and not by power. It's not by power, it's not by power, it's not by my, it's not by my, by my spirit says the Lord. It's not by power, it's not by power, it's not by my, it's not by my, by my spirit says the Lord. This mountain has been removed in Jesus' name. This mountain got to go in Jesus' name. This mountain got to go by His Spirit, says the Lord. In Jesus' name. Chronicles chapter 18, Second Chronicles chapter 18. I'm going to start quickly from verse 21. And what did he say? There were two kings. We all knew. We've had it. King Ahab, king of Israel, and King Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, their brothers and sisters, they joined together. <laughs> let me tell you something. I'm going to, let me read. You will understand where I'm coming from. If you're serving God and you're not called names, you're not serving a true living God. <laughs> when the Lord told me I went to a revival in, in, in London and the Lord specifically told me go he told me go to East London I got there the person he sent me to he said you have to empty your pocket huh. where am I going to go I, I, I went to the bank I emptied my pocket he said everything in your pocket empty it for this woman I got there the, the son just died Oh my God, that beats me so hard. The grave was right there. I saw it. And I said, the Lord sent me to you. You know what he told me even after giving her my money? <laughs> she said, you are crazy. With all your degrees, what are you doing with evangelism? I said, ah, I just gave you all my money. The Lord sent me here to empty my pocket for you. I went to the bank chain to, to Euro. I mean, to, to, to pan Stalin. So I think I emptied my pocket. She told me, <laughs> you are stupid. <laughs> you are crazy. And I said, okay, thank you. And then she turned around. She said, oh, I must be out of my mind. Oh, I think the fairies are dealing with me. She said that. And she said, oh, I didn't take my depression medicine this morning. If that was you, if it were you, what will you do to this woman? Come on, let's go. 21, Second Chronicle 18, 21. And he said, I will go out and be a lying spirit. See, when you are full of it, you don't recognize the power of God. You don't serve a living God. The devil is bound to come and deal with you. So you can check out the children of God. So you want to touch them. <laughs> Let's go. And he said, I'll go out and be a lying spirit in the matter of his prophet, King Ahab, the, the king, the husband of Jezebel. Jezebel, uh oh, <laughs> practicing witchcraft, and he, she was a pagan. She didn't fear God. There are many pagans, trust me, oh, they didn't fear God. Even better than Christians. Hey, I can, I'm going to prove it to you. I'm not advising you to step out of the Lord of God to go serve idol. Hear me right. There are some pagans that they do the right thing. They don't hurt. They don't kill. They don't steal. No adultery. No fornication. And it's rampart among the children of God we call ourselves born again. Don't lie. Oh. The spirit of God will fetch you this morning. If you don't change, it will expose you this morning. Amen. Because how can you be the daughter of Zion or the sons of Zion? And your father is rich in silver and gold. He owns the world. He owns silver and gold. He owns the cow. He owns everything. And you will be because of your human nature. You will be eating the bones. And you will be wearing a rag. Uh, 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 no rags. That means 
We confess to be children of God. We're not walking in his ways. And God, because of what I have did, he has his own prophets, prophets of Baal. <laughs> and how can you be a king over Israel? The Lord chosen people. Hey. And so he went to his own prophet. And the Lord decided because he wanted to prove to him that uh, 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 I am the Lord and I have the final say. And he said, I will go out and be a lion spirit in the mouth of all his prophets, the prophet of King Ahab. And the Lord said, Thou shalt entice him, and thou shalt also prevail. Go out and do it, even so. Now, therefore, behold, Lord had put a lion spirit in the mouth of this thy prophet. A prophet telling him that. And, and hmm, to speak. Put a lion spirit in the mouth of this thy prophet, and the Lord has spoken evil against thee. And then Zedekiah, the son of Shenanam, came near and smote Micaiah, the great prophet of God, upon the cheek. The Bible said, if they smack your 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 right cheek what did he say he said turn the turn to them the other one that turning the other one it means find the nearest exit leave that place don't engage them don't fight ha huh. he says i will fight your battle and you will hold your peace don't engage them physically if you smack my right cheek okay find the next exit don't engage leave the judgment to go if truly you serve a living God, <laughs> he will deal with the person. I'm not kidding, no. <laughs> I don't encourage you to fight back. It is, if they slap your ear, think about it logically. You don't find the nearest exit and you turn the other one. I tell logically, it's saying leave the place. You'll be deaf. Common sense. The Lord has given us the brain. Apply it, like children of the Most High God. He will fight your battle. It doesn't matter how long it, it's going to take him. He will come at his appointed time. You will live to witness it. And I know. You've got to try to believe it. That God can do it. Then Zedekiah, one of the prophets of Baal of King Ahab, smote Micaiah upon the cheek and said, Which way went the Spirit of the Lord from me to speak unto thee? He's saying, they, <laughs> they were even claiming the power of God. You see, the prophet said, which way when the spirit of the Lord from me to speak unto thee? Eh? You think God does not speak to me? You are a prophet of Baal. The only one in the Bible that the Lord who counted a righteousness for them is those that are poor in the spirit of God. You claiming God over evil is not going to hear you. Mm -mm. And <laughs> and Micaiah the prophet said, Behold, thou shalt see on that day when thou shalt go into an inner chamber to hide thyself. You call yourself a prophet of God and the lying tongue is upon you. How many of you have been deceived? Why leave the, the righteous God to seek God where there is no God? In the Bible, in the gospel, the, 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 the gospel of the Beatitudes, Matthew 5, 3, it says, Blessed are the poor in spirit. This one, he is claiming the righteousness of God. He cannot win salvation. And those who are poor, pagans, they don't know better. The Lord will bless them. He's saying they are poor in the spirit. We need to reach those people and preach the gospel. But adventure, if we can reach them, 
The Lord said, it because they are poor in spirit, ha, I will let them inherit the kingdom of heaven. Look in your Bible, Matthew 5, verse 3. And this one, <laughs> he knew he wasn't of God, a prophet of Baal, claiming that God is speaking to him. Smart, the real prophet of God. Look, listen. And Micah said, Behold, you're going to go in a chamber on that day and be go hide yourself when the truth will come up. In 25. Then the king of Israel, Ahab, as usual, they don't do good. <laughs> he trusted in chariots and in things of war. He trusted in man power. In vain. Make all your foundation this morning. And Micaiah said, Behold, thou shalt see. And the king of Israel 25 said, Take ye, Micaiah, and carry him back into Ammon, the governor's city, and to Johar, to Johar the king's son. 25, 26, that's where I'm going. Listen up. And say, Thus says the king, Put this fellow. Hey, the king of kings, the Lord of God, the son of the most high God, a prophet of God, ordained by the power of his majesty. Hmm. Be careful who you're touching. Hmm. And say, thus says the king, put his fellow in the prison and feed him with bread of affliction, <laughs> bread of sorrow, and water of sorrow, water of matter, <laughs> until I return in peace. Hey, who is greater than Jehovah, Lord Divine? Hey, there is no one greater than Jehovah, Lord Divine. It says, put a prophet of the Most High God and feed him with food of affliction, water of affliction, until. <laughs> who is that? Who are that? Oh, oh, oh. Mountain. Before Tzirubabel. Who is the king? When King, when the prophet Micaiah has the Lord of hosts as his God, who is your God this morning? Who do you put your trust in? Hmm. Until you return, in, how do you know you're going to return in peace when you're doing evil? Ah, I don't go to sharpen iron from this morning. Hmm. Let God, let the world know we're serving a living God. Come with me. To, to uh, uh, the book of um, Hallelujah. Let me see. Come with me. The next one is Hallelujah, Jehovah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Engazi. God bless you, Sister. I think the next one is the book of uh, Lamentation. Lamentation. That's what I'm looking for. Lamentation. Lamentation. Hallelujah. Lamentation. Come with me to the book of Lamentation. And what did he say in Lamentation? In the book of Lamentation. Hallelujah. Book of Lamentation. <laughs> open, open, open quickly so we can go. We need to pray more because that is our weapon against this kind of people. Hey, Lamentation 337. Let me quickly read from um, 30, 30, 35. To subvert a man in his cause, the Lord approved not. 35. To turn aside the, the right of a man before the face of the Most High, to subvert a man in the cause, the Lord approved not. You cannot overstep anyone, especially when you yourself you are not of God, because the Lord will fight the battle for his children, except you don't belong to God. You hear me, my brothers and sisters? Except you serve a string God. And seven, who is that that said, and it come to pass when the Lord commanded it not? It says, feed this prophet with the food of affliction, water of affliction, sorrow, 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 until I come back in peace. Who had thou predicting that you're going to come back in peace? When you, your hands are dirty, your hands are stained, you've taken Paul to pay, you robbed Peter to pay Paul. Hmm. You've claimed the testimony of others and you own it, 
the Lord will take it back from you this morning. He will replace it with better glory never used before for those who own those testimonies. Ah, are you using your power unwisely? Don't think I'm crazy. I've been called crazy. I don't care. The degrees I hold, all degrees in my home, and the name it, he cannot save me, he cannot save my children, he cannot save my husband. He got every degree. What do you want? If it is for sale, we got it for you. It's not for sale. <laughs> Who are you predicting tomorrow? When you're not serving a living God. Who told you you're going to sleep? Ah, marriage. May he never be our portion. Who told you you're going to sleep tonight and wake up in the morning? Ha. Huh. The Lord has not spoken. Nobody can predict tomorrow. Our lives are in his hand. Quickly, said First Chronicles. First Chronicles. First Chronicles. Come on, let's go. First Chronicles. And we're going to chapter 16. I'm gonna we're gonna read from 22. Let's take it quickly from um let's go from maybe um 19. When we were very few, Chronicle 16, from, from 16, even of the covenant which he made with Abraham and his oath up unto Isaac, and had confirmed the same to Jacob for a law, and Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your age, the lot of your inheritance, when ye were but few, even a few and stranger in it. And when went from nation to nation and from one kingdom to the another, he suffered no man to do them wrong. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. If I'm telling you, if God has ordained you as his own and you dare touch that person, you are in trouble. Who can dare touch the apple of God? How are you going to even get there? If you try, you just determine your own end. Mm. 21. It suffer no man to do them wrong. Don't touch them. All. When the Amalekites will lay them on the way. <laughs> he is a God of revenge. He says, vengeance is mine. I shall revenge. You can't touch anyone who belongs to God. If you belong to God, nobody can touch you. If you're doing the right thing, you'll be, you'll be daughter of Zion, you'll be sons of Zion. That is it. Under his shadow. Because he that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under his shadow. Psalm 91. Under the shadow of God, who can reach that place? Except who abides Except you abide in the things of the Lord. Except God is your strength and no power. Hey, everything will pass. Nothing relating to our God will pass. It's a covenant keeper. And 22. Saying, touch not my anointed people that I have ordained for my work. Touch them not to Micaiah. Hey. Who are you? You slap a prophet at the cheek? You say, how come? You, you say you're a prophet? Hey, you think God is not speaking to me? And how can the Spirit of God leave me and speak to you? How do you determine who is a prophet of God when you're a prophet of Baal? <laughs> Touch not. Hear me right. 22. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Not just the prophets or the children of the Most High God. Touch not. If you dare touch them from today. You know, it's better when you don't know what you're doing. And now you had it. And you don't want to change. <laughs> my Lord, my God. Galatians 6. Quickly. Galatians 6. We need to pray. Because God could declare us untouchable and spoke for powers for principalities. Whoever will come trying us, God of vengeance will take over. 
I'm not cursing nobody. It is real. Except God does not leave. And the God will, 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 will dissolve. Except it's no longer a living God. Except it will change its position. It doesn't change. It doesn't die. It's a living God. Forever. He is God. Hmm. Forever, O oh Lord. Thy word is settled. In heaven it is settled. Forever, forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven, it is settled. Galatians, we're going to verse 10 quickly. Let me read from it. For he that soweth to his flesh <laughs> shall of the flesh reap. Whatever you sow, you shall reap. If you sow good, Trust God. He's so faithful. He will multiply his goodness in your life. If you sow evil, double portion. It's read. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. In the name of Jesus. And nine. And let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Amen. And ten, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good. You have opportunity this morning. I just said it. We all have opportunity this morning to change our ways, to start doing better, to start doing good. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, unto all men, not just the prophets, any creation of God, anything with the bread, even the dogs, the animals, except the Lord has commanded for you to kill and eat. Don't be cruel. Don't be cruel. And think they cannot challenge your authority. What about God who created them? Even the non-living things. You see fruit in there. People are hungry. They, they, they don't have nothing to eat. Because they pluck one a mango off your tree. You want to kill them? Because they pluck one, one, one orange from your orange tree. You want them to die after eating? How can you account for that? Who made it possible for your orange tree to grow? Who made it possible, oh Lord, Jehovah, for your mango tree to grow? Bearing in mind, they, they, they is stealing. But they, there is nothing wrong when you see something you want to eat and you can eat it. Just take in the amount you want to eat and leave everything alone because it's not yours. You can't go carry to sell. That becomes stealing. If it's just to you to eat, and you really hungry? God knows your heart. Let me tell you, King David, he came from war. He was hungry. What, what, what did he eat? He went in the temple. He ate <laughs> the bread. He ate the sacrament. He ate it. He was so hungry. There's nothing to, for him to eat. God did not count it against him. Just take enough to eat and do it in righteousness. Are you going to change your way from today to do good? And we have therefore opportunity from this morning. Let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Those we call pastors, those we call priests, those we call prophets, prophetesses, ministers, and on and on. Who are you in the Lord this morning? Forgot to even fight your battle. When powers come, begin to thank God. To take my joy away. You owe the key to my life. I say, when powers come, to take my joy away. When they slap your cheek. <laughs> he owes the key to my life. When sorrows come to take my joy away, you hold the key to my life. He holds the key to my home. He holds the key to my life. 
When powers come to take my joy away, you hold the key to my life. Begin to thank God. He holds the key to our life, to our success, to our marriages, to our home. But adventure, he is God. You may think he, 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 he didn't answer you. He has his own appointed time. He has spoken in the book of Habakkuk. At the appointed time of God, your testimony that you have written this morning, that I'm going to change my father, help me to change my ways, let my ways be pleasing and pleasant to you. I'm writing my testimony. I want to serve you. Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Write your vision this morning. Begin to thank God. Write your vision for a change in your life for that new beginning in the name of jesus jehovah there's something coming in massachusetts god does not say it and do it though people traveling got to be careful it will happen in the month of August. Ah, Father, by your, by your grace. It's not about the prophecy being fulfilled. But the thing is, I want you, Father, to help us. Because we're all of flesh. Daddy, preserve so body and spirit of your children. And those who do not know you, help them. Jehovah. Jehovah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, what did he say in Second Chronicle 18.26? <laughs> Who has a final say? Jehovah has a final say. Tell it to your God. Who, his days that have been afflicting you. They've stolen your position. They're sitting on your seat. They've stolen your marriage. They borrow your husband. What else have, not, have they not done to you? They turn the heart of your children against you. They don't listen to you. Who says because you offended them, they want to deal with you? Until they, their children, they, uh, 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 the Lord will perfect their home first for, for you to have salvation. Ah, who has, who is the power today? God arise and let God arise. And his enemies be scattered. Pray as in the name of Jesus. Let God arise. And his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. And his enemies be scattered. Oh Lord, my God, arise. Jehovah, arise. <laughs> Jehovah, arise. Arise. Who is planning evil for me and my children because we serve a living God? Who is planning evil for my household, my husband, because we serve a living God? Let God arise. Who wanted to also be eating food of sorrow, food of affliction, water of Mara? Oh Lord, in the presence of our enemy, prepare a table before us and let our cup run it over in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray a prayer. Those who have they say, hey, the way you came to this country, you shall return back home. Hmm. It will not stand, it will not stand, it will not stand. Because he has said it in the book of Lamentation 337. Who is it that says, and it come to pass, when the Lord has not commanded it for you? The Lord has not commanded it. It will not stand, it will not hold no more. Ah, Abraham blesses am I. Hallelujah. Abraham blessings am I. Hallelujah. I'm blessed in the morning. I am blessed in the evening. Abraham blessings am I. Hallelujah. Abraham blessings am I. Hallelujah. Abraham blessings am I. I am blessed in the morning. I am blessed in the evening. Abraham's blessings am I. Pray, Father, bless me inside out. You be the author. Be the director of my life. Jehovah. Because 
who has a final say. Let no power, First Chronicles 16.22, touch not no more, steal my blessings no more, take away from my home in the name of Jesus. Nobody, no power, no generational causes. He has spoken in the book of Ezekiah. Sorry, Ezekiel. The book of Ezekiel. It says in 18.2.3, no adage. I'm no, no, they ate a sour grape. The Lord said, whoever ate it, he will deal with those people. Not me. I have my own questions to deal with. Why would I be a sorrow of my ancestors? Tell people, God, let it not stand no more. It will not be my portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My Ali Rahiba, Father. My Ali Rahiba. Okay. Thank you, Lord. And finally, what did he say in Galatians 6 10? Pray. We all have opportunity. Give me the chance. Look at uh, people who the Lord so loved and gave them the chance. The woman at the way in the book of John 4. The woman at the well. To a point that he, the Lord changed her way. I don't know if it's a, she's an alloy. I'm not going to say she's an alloy. She was marrying, the Bible told us. She married the first husband. It was no hers. She married second, third, four, five. And the sixth one, no. It wasn't even hers. What was going on? And the Lord, the Lord came. May the Lord come this morning and turn around our captivity to become captive for our lives in the name of Jesus. Pray your prayers. Tell it to God. You may even pray for somebody you, you know. You've seen them going through a lot. And they are so poor in the spirit. Even if you refuse to pray for them, the Lord has given them the opportunity. Because they are poor in heart. They don't know how to get there. And nobody helps them. He says there is the kingdom of heaven. So don't boast. Don't boast. Pray for them if you could. And let God take over you and your household in the name of Jesus. I pray for those that are born in the spirit. Let them see the light and add to their testimony in the name of Jesus. And those of us that we think we are sons and daughters of Zion and our ways are, ah, we have come up questions to answer. Hmm. Father, from today, let my ways, my children's ways, my bloodline, my husband, my entire household, even to the dog in my household. To the end, bless us, Father. Let us all do right hands for in the name of Jesus. We have opportunity today to do good. Never let us depart from you. Because who has a final say? Jehovah has a final say. I say who has a final say? Jehovah has a Finance, Jehovah rode the water back. Hey, he rode the water back. He made a way where there is no way. Jehovah, Jehovah rode the water back. Who has a finance? Jehovah has a finance. I say, who has a finance? Jehovah has a finance. Jehovah turn my life around. Hallelujah. Jehovah turn my home around. And he made a way where there is no way. Jehovah, Jehovah, turn our homes around. Thank you, Father, for hearing us this morning. Let us have a new beginning in you henceforth. It doesn't matter when, when powers come, when sorrows will come. They want to test us. Let it be a stepping stone for a higher ground for your children. Equip us more and more. Empower us to do better with you. And at the end of it, never let us do in vain. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. And that your special blood that doesn't stain, doesn't tarnish, the blood of salvation, the blood of redemption, let it put us inside out for a new beginning. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Join me on YouTube.
and next Sunday join me 11 a.m. East Coast time in America 10 a.m. Central people Mountain people join me at 9 a.m. if you're coming from West Coast or you're coming from Pacific time area California join me 11 minus 3 8 a.m. you coming from West Africa join me plus 5 it will be 4 p.m. your time. You coming from East Africa, plus seven. Join me, Kenya, maybe Gambia or Sudan, plus seven. Join me at 6 p.m. You coming from London, plus five, 4 p.m. Nigerian time, West, West Africa. You coming from Italy, plus six. Join me at 5 p.m. your time. Are you coming from Asia, plus 11? Join me at 10 p.m. May God bless us and save us all. Share this video in Jesus' name. And you yourself, me, myself, let's start a new beginning in the Lord. Do not touch who the Lord has ordained not to touch. Beware. Be careful. Let God turn around and deal with you. The apple of God's eyes, don't go there in Jesus' name. Those who body my conservation. Hey, Galatians 17. Never you touch them. Hey, the punishment, you can carry. You can bear it. Be careful. Beware. Stay clear. Heaven is real. Hell is super real. Talk to you next Sunday. But join me on Facebook. As I put it on, I'm going to play, what do they call it? Just come to Facebook and join me. It is well. Bye for now. Thank you for coming and God bless you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I bless all of you that came. You come again in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord is your strength. I should come. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.